Alright, hello everybody. So yeah, today we are going to start up Outlast. Uh, this game is a few years old. Uh, it's been popularized by, you know, other people playing it on YouTube. But I haven't experienced it yet, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So, um, you know, the least of which is that it's one of the scariest games ever. So, we'll see. Um, you guys already know I like horror games. My favorite being, of course, Silent Hill 2 which I hope to play at some point in the near future. But for right now, let's get into this game. Uh, we'll just start off on normal for the mo. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, strong language. Please enjoy. That's funny. I am Miles Upshore, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter, you... You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. So that's great. Um... Sounds a little bit like... What game was that? Silent Hill, um... Shattered Memories? The one for the Wii? The ice one? Basically didn't have any guns or anything, so... But I like that mechanic where you don't have weapons or anything, um... Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns were to blame for the livestock behavior and encourage ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend seminar on Beulah Avenue in Pueblo. And if you're out late tonight, you may see some low-flying helicopters near Silverthorne and Leadville. So there's Mount the Massive Asylum. Park Services will be spraying for an infestation of box elder bugs. But do keep all pets and children indoors between the hours. Press pass. Not massive. Going up to the gates. Right. Confidential. September 17th, to Miles Upshur, me. Subject, illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me, have to make this quick, they might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive, all sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there, don't understand it, don't believe half the things I saw, doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Got my batteries, got my trusty camcorder. Must record everything. Even my press pass. Got my night vision. Nobody there to open up the gates, so. Objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook containing your notes and picked up documents. Notes. No notes. The whistleblower. Alright. Let's see if we can, yeah, we can go in here. Let's see if we can open up this gate. Crouch. That's the camera button. What the hell just happened? Oh, the gate's closed behind me. Okay. 
Just making sure there's, an, you know. I have a feeling, you know, being an uh, playing an investigative reporter, that I'm going to have to explore, check everything. So, trust you guys will be uh, patient. Press square. That's spooky. Raise R1. Press R1. Is there an event to be recorded? I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009. Under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place is to be, has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Notes are only added when I raise my camcorder. But I'm, I'm just constantly adding notes. No. Yeah, right off the bat, this game has a pretty good atmosphere. Definitely spooky. As you can tell, the graphics are pretty good. But graphics aren't all that make a game. I'm just gonna explore the courtyard. Under here. There is a curiously open window up there, or the door. I'm assuming they're wanting me to go up this way. Up and down. That's cool. Platforming. <sighs> this will have to go through the door. Sort of priest. Nothing out of the usual so far. Got that little uh, chicken wire windows, whatever. Something tells me uh, nothing good happened here.
cork board. We got a battery. <clears throat> An infrared light of your recorder. You can reload by hitting triangle. I got a max capacity, I guess, of 10. Teamwork makes the dream work. Documents. Let's check those out. Merkov Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider. Patient age 19. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Erythrocytes. I don't know, I'm not good with medical terms. <laughs> Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note the only Traeger in company records, one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and audio and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. All right. Collecting important information. I hope there wasn't somebody standing there. Were those footprints here before? I hope not. Okay. Got you on film. I'll just go in here and get a drink. Contamination. The fuck? Is that some intestines? Alright. I think that violates a health code. Let's check out these vents. I love the use of music so far. <gasps> Inmates are, in, are running the asylum. That's where we just were. Good jump scare. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, son. Okay. No record. Where'd that body go? Woo. Headless. I'm recording all of this. I'm reporting all of this. I'm reporting you guys. A 
other batteries in here? Oh, fuck. They killed us. You caught out the variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Is it some sort of soldier? Alright, moving the fuck on. Oh. Just saw a dude enter that area. Go through that door. Sweating profusely. Got a battery. I'm just swap you out. Who? Yeah. I follow this person. Nope. Still being being led towards something. Little fake. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> let me and who are you then? I've forgotten. Forgot my name. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. No, Jesus. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Well, guys, <laughs> uh, that was a that was a good first episode. I think you all saw me get up. Man, that was an epic jump scare. Maybe not too epic, but it got me. Uh, I know my let uh, layers of fear episodes. Uh, one of them, I forget which one, but I was basically said, "Oh, I don't get scared. I don't get scared at all. You know, shit doesn't scare me. Don't get jump scared. Blah blah blah." Well, that definitely fucking got me. Um, this game, it's already got perfect atmosphere. Loving this already, and I hope to see you guys all in the next episode.